Hello, this is Mohan Kelkar. This is video number eight of my energy reality series. I want to discuss how much fossil fuel will be eliminated by introduction of electric vehicles. Electric vehicles have been in the news recently and the real question is how much influence they will have in reducing the consumption of fossil fuels. Transportation is an important activity. We drive cars, light trucks, big trucks, airplanes, container ships, and rail railways. With the exception of railways, which mostly run on electricity, all the other modes of transportation require oil. In the United States, based on the Energy Information Administration, 25% of the total energy is consumed on transportation, out of which 50% is consumed on light trucks and passenger vehicles, and the rest is spent on commercial transportation. In the world, about 18% of the energy is consumed on transportation. It's important to understand what is EIA since most of the data which I'm going to show you is based on EIA website. U.S. Energy Information Administration is a principal agency of U.S. federal statistical system which is responsible for collecting, analyzing, and disseminating energy information to promote sound policy making. EIA looks at the historical data and makes projections about what's going to happen in the future. According to EIA, if you go back to 1950s and look at the historical information, majority of the transportation energy is provided by oil, with a little bit of energy provided by gas and biofuel, biofuel being mainly ethanol. If you look at the percentage of the energy which is provided by different sources, oil provides more than 90% of the energy for transportation, with gas and biofuel slightly less than 5%. The contrib contribution of electricity is less than 1% and it can be barely seen on this graph. The first part of the black at the beginning simply represents the coal which was used as an energy source for transportation. There are many types of electric vehicles which are introduced in the market. Battery electric vehicles or BEVs represent cars which run on electricity. Plug-in hybrid electric vehicles run mostly on electricity with some assist from gasoline-powered cars. ERV or extended range electric vehicles run again on electricity with some assist from gasoline-powered cars. HEV or hybrid electric vehicles are internal combustion engines with little bit of use from electricity. We will not consider them as EVs or electric vehicles. Before we look at EV's impact on the fossil fuel consumption, it's a good idea to look at 2010 and what was the projections we made with respect to how many EVs will be sold in the United States in 2020. Based on this particular information, you can see that the minimum projections were 7%, the maximum projections were 11%, but in reality, the EV penetration was about 2% in 2020, a significant difference between projections and what really happened. There are two principal reasons for this discrepancy. One is that the internal combustion cars have become durable compared to what they were in the past. In 1972, the average IC car lasted only for six and a half years and traveled only about 100,000 miles. In 2020, the average car lasts for about 12 years and can travel up to 300,000 miles. The price difference is also significant between electric vehicle and IC vehicle if you look at comparable cars. So for example, the difference between Chevy Bolt and Toyota Camry is about $6,000 or about 23%. If you look at bigger cars, like Dodge Ram electric vehicle versus Dodge Ram, the difference is almost 130%. So for people to buy electric vehicles, they will have to spend significant amount of money compared to IC cars. Further, electric vehicles may require a battery replacement after about 150,000 miles, and that's a significant additional cost. 
So without a significant incentives, people will reluctantly buy electric vehicles. Based on those calculations, there have been many projections about what the future energy composition will look like for transportation. This particular graph shows what will happen in the future up to 2050 electric electricity contribution is still very small mostly dominated by oil and if you look at the percentage more than 70 percent of the energy for transportation is provided by oil with about five percent between biomass gas and electric contributions. Remember that most of the expansion in the future is going to come from developing countries and there will be more propensity to buy IC cars because they are cheap compared to the electric vehicles. In United States oil consumption in 2050 according to EIA is going to be greater than the consumption in 2020 with some contribution coming from natural gas, a little bit from hydrogen and some from electricity. But again, the percentage of electricity in the future is still going to be less than 2% all the way up to 2050. According to EIA, electricity remains a minor fuel for the world's transportation energy use in 2040. Can EIA be wrong compared to what the projections are based on what we read in the newspaper? In 2018, IHS market predicted that 30% of the cars will be sold as electric vehicles by 2030. In 2021, they increased their predictions and said that 32% of the cars will be sold as electric vehicles. And by 2035, the percentage will go up to 45%. President Biden set an ambitious goal of selling 50% of the cars as EVs in 2030. Bloomberg predicts about 30% of the EVs will be sold by 2037. These projections are significantly higher than the 2% penetration in 2020. Assuming that these projections are true, we can calculate the percentage of the energy which is provided by the fossil fuel for transportation. The baseline is provided by EIA. If you assume 30% penetration versus 50% penetration, the consumption of fossil fuel will go from about 96% to about 74%. But in these calculations, we are making an assumption that all the electricity which is used in EVs will be provided by renewable sources. The reality is that most of the electricity still comes from fossil fuels. Right now about 70% of the electricity is generated by fossil fuel and that percentage is not going to change significantly in the future. So if you assume that the 70% of electricity is generated by fossil fuel, then the consumption of fossil fuels in the transportation will go from 96% to about 90% if you assume 50% penetration, which is a very small reduction in the fossil fuel consumption. So to summarize, the predictions in the past about EV penetration have always proven to be wrong. We hope that the future is different. In the world, most of the increases in the transportation energy is going to come from developing world and not developed world. And the majority of that increase is going to come from oil and other fossil fuels. And oil is going to remain a dominant energy source for transportation maybe more than 70% in 2050. Thank you for listening to this presentation. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel.